As the Saints gathered for minicamp this week, some things are obvious. Chase Daniel is taking charge of the offense in Drew Brees' absence. Joe Vitt is looking more and more comfortable in his role as interim coach. And Steve Spagnuolo's coaching is, well, more G-rated compared to Greg Williams' R-rated rants. What's less obvious is how well certain players are playing without pads, namely the guys in the trenches. So in getting an evaluation of their first round selection in the draft, Hakeem Hicks, you get a glowing review, but it comes with an asterisk. Well, with Hicks, you can see that he's big, he's mobile, he can run, he can change gears. He's got good body control and balance. So yeah, I mean, we're really excited. But listen, we're gonna put the pads on and that's what's gonna define him. It's been awesome. It's just been a really big learning experience. I feel like every day we come out here, you pick up something new and you, you learn how to do something a little bit better. So uh, it's just been a progression and enjoying it. Hicks is not only getting adjusted to life in the NFL, he's getting readjusted to something else. The heat. Yeah, these practices here in New Orleans, just a tad bit warmer than those back at the University of Regina. <laughs> it was cold. It was cold, but it was, a, it was a really good experience, and the people up there were great to me, and I'll, and I'll always have love for them in, in every way possible. I'm a part of the Houdat Nation now, but uh, I'm definitely ready to, uh, ready to play. The Saints' fourth-round pick, Nick Toon, is trying to fit into a talented veteran receiving corps. He says he's learning from them, but also getting advice from an even better source, his dad, Al, who had an eight-year career with the New York Jets. It was very exciting for him. Uh, I think it's, uh, it's surreal for me, and I think it's surreal for him as well. We haven't talked about it much, but uh, you know, just come in, work hard, do what you do, which, which uh, my job is to go out there and catch the ball and make plays. So uh, when the ball comes my way, I'm going to do everything in my power to catch it. Uh, and when it doesn't, you know, I'm going to uh, help whoever does have the ball in their hands um, get as many yards as they can. While Toon comes from a football family and a football powerhouse in Wisconsin, Corey White comes to the Saints from tiny Samford University, but he is ready to fit in. Very smart football player. Um, you know, he played at a small school, so you don't know what you're getting there, and that's not a knock on the small schools, but these other guys that have played at the big schools and the big competition, you kind of know what you're getting. But Corey has picked it up well. He's playing two positions, corner and the nickel. Hasn't missed the beat. I like the way he works. Well, first, I'm a, I'm a humble, quiet guy. You know, I'm not gonna say much. I'm gonna do all my work. You know, on the field, I'm I'm real quiet. So I'm a, I'm gonna do it that way. I'm versatile. You know, I can I can play corner. You know, come inside, play nickel. I can even play safety a little bit. And I would say that was my my main strengths coming out of college. You know, I can play all all three positions in the secondary. White, Tune, and Hicks don't have the pressure of being first round selections, but they do hope to follow the legacy of Saints players who have been late round steals. Guys like Marcus Colston, Carl Nix, and Thomas Morstead. At Saints Minicamp, Paul Boron for CST.